Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism and narcissistic relationships, and most importantly, healing from these relationships. So believe it or not, there are sometimes narcissistic relationships that are actually looking like, there are actually narcissistic relationships that kind of look normal, even good. And then kind of suddenly things take a big turn. Let's talk about this unique situation. Because I think our picture of the narcissistic relationship is always doom and gloom and gaslighting from day one, right? But you're, the question I was asked is, are there narcissistic relationships where the narcissistic person in the relationship is actually not mean for a long time? And the relationship is not only normal, it might even feel good for a while. And the answer to that is yes. Now, it's not a common pattern. The biting, cruel, even passive aggressive stuff that are such a universal part of narcissistic abuse that can break our hearts and hurt us and wound us. It's such a, that's the norm. But you may wonder what does narcissistic abuse really mean when that's not happening? Well, it happens that you don't see it for a long time because narcissistic abuse obviously can look many different ways, right? It can be devaluation, it can be dismissiveness, manipulation, gaslighting, passive aggression, overt aggression, neglect, lying, betrayal, infidelity, hyper control, future faking, blame shifting. And some of you have been unlucky enough to have all of these things happen in your relationship. Some of you may only experience some of them. But what would make a narcissistic person able to not crack over to the mean side of the relationship for a long time, but then one day, often quite suddenly, the relationship falls apart? Now, the most common example of when this happens is when a major breach of trust or a betrayal or even criminal behavior happens in a relationship. For those of you who haven't watched it yet, the show and podcast Betrayal offered one of the best examples of this. But it doesn't just show up on such a grand scale. Remember this, a well-supplied narcissistic person, a person getting praise and admiration and all of that, can keep it together for a long time. So if you are in a relationship, let's start with an intimate relationship with someone who has enough money in the bank, power, or success at work, has people who flirt with them, or worse, at the gym or at work, has friends who pump them with compliments. That level of supply may keep the narcissistic person regulated for a while, maybe even for years. They may be in a good groove, getting juice from places like social media where people telling them they're so great, getting more and more followers. And so you may be dealing with someone who is well supplied, isn't so brittle and isn't coming at you. They may get the occasional ding or mean comment in, but the rest, and a lot of it may be good enough that you don't even take note. You'll just write that off to just a bad day. It may be good enough. The relationship may be good enough that you don't recognize that the empathy you're receiving is hollow or that they are entitled. For example, they may have such good manners that their entitlement comes out as charm, but there's still that idea that they do deserve better treatment than others. And they may use things like big tips and things like that to get special treatment. And then when the boom falls, and as I said, it may be you catch them in an affair or they're caught in a problem at work or even a legal problem. You may be shocked saying, I never saw it. And you didn't. The subtlety may be that you were dealing with a well-regulated person, which we often don't see in narcissism, whose supply supply train, as it were, was running strong throughout your relationship. In the replay, when you go back and think about the relationship, you may see things you missed, maybe some low-grade snobbery or contempt or being a little rude to your friends or other unpleasant stuff that was very easy to rationalize because the other trains were running on time. I have been in the presence of some couples like this, and I can smell the narcissism of one of them but it's subtle. And the partner, the non-narcissistic partner, is not experiencing bad stuff. Invariably, all narcissistic relationships either fall apart or become really, became really unhealthy. And the person, though, the non-narcissistic person, was far more shocked than if the person they were in the relationship was obviously more toxic and angry all the time, right? 
In a family, this is less likely because we spend longer spans of time with them. The more time you spend with the narcissistic person, the less likely it is that you will have this experience of seemingly together decent person behavior doing a massive 180, but it happens. However, I have to tell you, I recall being told stories of people who remember a father who wasn't around that much, but when he was around, he was playful and he was fun, but then the father gets arrested. And then they also come to find out that the father was a cheater and mistreated his employees and embezzled a bunch of money. A little kid's not going to see all of that. So that father was regulating and getting their needs met, met elsewhere. So they come home as a decent father for a minute right? This all may be clearer in the workplace. The charismatic boss who gets caught in a scandal and everyone is surprised. Eh, maybe nobody really knew the boss well. The grief in these sudden narcissistic fall off the cliff relationships, the grief is, mi is mixed up with massive shock because unless you do this for a living like I do, you wouldn't have noticed it. And even I don't know that I'd notice it. There was more than enough in the relationship that felt comfortable or the trimmings of your life together were comfortable enough. You aren't going to go looking for it. And the subtle stuff may be small against the other stuff. And once the proverbial mask comes off, you will see the other side, the rage at, get call, at getting called out and the bad stuff will show up and you will truly believe when the massive turnaround happens that you are in the presence of a stranger. People have, who have gone through this quick 180 switch in a narcissistic relationship, again, it is pretty unusual. They're often not as mad at themselves because of the self-blame, that sort of why didn't I see it angle. But most will say, what was wrong with me? Like, what did I miss? However, when we do the deep dive and go backwards, they'll say there actually wasn't much. But the problem is that the world may say to these people who have these narcissistic relationships that flip so quickly, say, how couldn't you see it? We don't believe you couldn't have seen this. Internally, they'll say there was really nothing to see. But it can sting when other people accuse you of being unaware or clueless and the hurt can come from that. Some of you may be thinking, maybe the person who goes from nice enough to terrible, isn't that just life? Isn't that just a shadow in all of us? No, because in most of these cases, there was a subset of people that were seeing the worst of these narcissistic people. They were often maybe coworkers, maybe employees. Sometimes these are folks who distanced enough from their families of origin, so the partner, doesn't meet the family of origin who knew the narcissist in that way because the partner, the non-narcissistic partner, doesn't meet the family who actually saw it. The so-called unmasking or the ability to show up as a good enough person for long enough that when it finally goes away and the behavior that is revealed is unacceptable, it absolutely shocks you. Meaning years of having a relationship where it was looking fine, that they weren't lashing out at you. It does happen. I'm going to repeat it. When a narcissistic relation, when a narcissistic person is well supplied, they keep it together, which is why some narcissistic folks are better able to keep it together at work than at home, because at work, they're often getting lots of validation and the realm of their interpersonal relationship or the headaches of kids or something like that isn't as rewarding. So they lash out more in that space. Ultimately, our true nature always comes out. It's the nature of personality and the narcissistic personality. Absolutely. And that does put the narcissistic, their personality does put them at odds with other people. So that's always going to show itself ultimately. And that personality style, the narcissistic personality style will always end up hurting people. It's a unique grief, a sort of psychological sucker punch, a mind bending confusion, a self doubt that may take hold afterwards. When you wonder, what didn't I see? Did I just want to be in my bubble? The well supplied narcissistic person is very attractive. And frankly, the more emboldened they become, the more life goes their way often the harder they fall because they truly may believe they can get away with it. And they may get increasingly bolder with their lies, their infidelity, and even their financial shenanigans. The entitlement and grandiosity and arrogance may leave them feeling that they can get away with it. So they push the envelope and that 
is often when it all comes crashing down. So if you are in a relationship with them due to no bad deeds on your side, but because of your bad behavior, you end up being the worst casualty. But that rapid shift in what seems like a well put together relationship to the world that literally goes hurtling over a cliff and the things that are found out, they're usually awful, big, terrible infidelities or lies or financial mismanagement or even criminal behavior. And a person will then come to find out how awful the person they were in a relationship was with other people, all the hallmarks of narcissism in those other relationships. To be in a relationship like that has got to be one of the most confusing and, and startling experiences. But like I said, some people will get wonder, how did I not see this? Other people may be mad at the person in the relationship saying, you must have seen this. And other people hurt by the narcissistic person will say, no way, I don't believe you didn't see this. So some of that comes from the sense of shame that other people might have been harmed by the narcissistic person. Or sometimes it's not that other people are being harmed. They have a, they have a very robust extramarital affair and you end up finding that out but you thought up until you found that out, you thought the relationship was wonderful. That's what I mean. Because that narcissistic person was getting playing both sides of it, they were getting plenty of supply. So everyone was seeing the best version of them. And that does not tend to last. I know many of you weren't in this kind of a circumstance because it's not that common, but if you were, I want you to know it does happen and it can really, really feel like the twilight zone. Thanks again.